Well, it's time for another walk. Uh, I try to walk my mile each day uh, for my heart health. Uh, why don't you guys join me and I'll explain to you what the Bee Gees have to do with heart health. That's right, the Bee Gees, the pop group. Stay tuned. Hello folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I'm out on another one of my walks for the health and well-being of my heart. And also, you know, to help me lose some weight because losing weight will help my blood pressure and also changing my diet and eating sensible foods that helps dissolve cholesterol in the arteries. That's also another sensible thing I'm doing in my lifestyle changes to achieve a better, more healthier life. For now, I'm only walking uh, a mile a day, but as you can tell by my breathing, I'm working up my heart and getting my heart activity going to help strengthen my heart muscles. So I'm gonna take an opportunity and, uh, and dedicate this show to the American Heart Association and the good people who help educate us and get us prepared for saving lives. And one of the methods of learning how to save lives is uh, take a CPR course and learn basic cardiac skills on resuscitation and also on the Heimlich maneuver. Uh, you never know what's going to happen around you and just get ready to be uh, skilled and trained to be able to jump in and intervene. You could do that by starting out and calling or uh, Googling your uh, American Heart Association and also check with your local fire departments to see if they're offering free classes and especially the American Red Cross also. A lot of these organizations work together in trying to get people skilled in just basic CPR. So working as a certified nurse's aide in the uh, um, hospital setting, there's been many cases where during the course of my daily duties, I've come across a patient that was, well, they had, we call it in our field, a state of celestial discharge. They have died. So immediately I jump into action, put on my gloves, and uh, push the code blue button because I do work in the hospital and then the team comes running in but by that time I'm already doing CPR. Now you might ask by now what do the Bee Gees, the singing group, have to do with this topic? Well it's because the Bee Gees recorded a song called Staying Alive and in that song, it's like a hundred beats per minute. And that's what you want to do when you're doing chest compressions. You want to do a hundred beats per minute. So when I'm doing chest compressions, I'm thinking about that song, basically tuning in my internal radio uh, to the Bee Gees tune when I'm doing CPR because I get perfect compressions that way. And I ask my coworkers when they're doing CPR uh, how they keep up with the time. They said, well, I think about that Bee Gees song, Staying Alive, Staying Alive, uh, 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 uh. So that's what the Bee Gees have to do with heart health. And I'm on this walk for the health of my heart. And I've also have experience and skills in CPR. Now I've resuscitated, I, I can't count how many people uh, that I've resuscitated and brought back to life with the teamwork of my other uh, medical professionals. 
but it's odd when you fly into doing CPR there you all you kind of go on on autopilot because you're trained so well and of course you tune that on um, that radio on in your head and slide in action and it's a very successful train of thought so my encouragement to you is uh, please get skilled in CPR uh, look in your local areas to see if there's a anybody available that can facilitate to uh, that for you sometimes they charge a little fee uh, other times there's uh, free courses available but i strongly encourage as many of you get skilled in cpr as needed there's been times where uh yeah i needed cpr on me because i myself am a heart patient i've been in cardiac arrest four times i've had cpr performed on me and i also have a pacemaker uh, to keep me on this side of the grass so our goal is to train as many people as possible both of my children are skilled and trained in cpr so if anything happens to me while i'm uh, at the farm and they're at the farm they can jump into action they know exactly what they're doing yeah i'm really enjoying this walk today it's a beautiful day in this uh, nice cold winter day so you can consider this an unofficial public service announcement for the need to uh, get skilled in cpr uh, learn uh, by going to the american heart association website and who knows you may need to save a life and if you do, you have the skills to do it. This is one of the many little ponds that I pass by on my walk. Uh, my creek from my pond flows into this one, feeds it. And you can hear the frogs in there. It's that time of year. The frogs are getting ready for their mating season. So I know that's a frog pond because I know how deep it is. It's only knee deep, knee deep. Huh? So I just wanted to comment that this video is not uh, supported nor is it endorsed by the American Heart Association diet. It's just my personal plea for my viewers to go out and get skilled in CPR. Yeah. Well, I'm Jerry Hansen, your host. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this little walk and also uh, allowing me to share with you guys a little bit about uh, my history and my current status. So please stay tuned to no more videos. You can do that by clicking that bell icon that will alert you to new videos as I upload them. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click that share button and share my videos on your social media platforms. That really helps out the channel a lot. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and check out those links below. I've got some links to some videos you might be interested in. Uh, they share with you some information I've gleaned from different states and different venues on where you can go to start searching for your cheap property or cheap house. What it is, is a pattern I developed for myself and I achieved it, I tried it, and there's other people that are trying it out and they're achieving it too. So give it a try and come back and leave me a comment and let me know how you guys did. We'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.